Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is overcast and super humid and it's supposed to be like almost 100 degrees today, but it feels like mild. So Sam has been up and busy working already. He got grain for me and he got hay for us. So uh, this is what I feed the pigs. There's literally no picture on it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's expensive too. How much is it? $30. Yeah, it's $30. Goat grain is 20 bucks. Horse grain is 60 bucks and mini pig feed is 30 bucks. Well, actually, horse grain is like more than 60 bucks. It's like 65 bucks, something like that. So keep that in mind when you're picking animals for your farm. If you want the cheapest animals, chickens and goats are the same for their grain. Horses are the most expensive and then mini pigs are in the middle. Chicken coop is looking cute. Get in there, I don't want you guys going out the front. I come in here every day just to watch the turkeys. Isn't that crazy? So what I like about them, I love the boy that he's so fancy. Like I, I could just, oh my God, there's a chicken on my head. There's a turkey on my head. I think there's a turkey on my head. Oh my God, don't poop on me, it's a turkey. Okay, so the other thing I come in here for is because the turkeys are really friendly. But this is a bit too friendly. Get off my head. It's a girl. All right, come on. Get off. He doesn't want to get off. <laughs> She's so... Yeah, I want to hold her. Yeah, so he's like, I want to hold her. So that's why I come in here. No, I'm a dad. No, I know, oh, it's so head. rude. She's so rude. Hi. But I literally just sit in here with them. And she always... Fed them Did you? And they took food from your hand? Yeah. Wow. Anyways, she is really cute. She is so friendly. Turkeys are like pigs, you guys. They bond the same way. All animals are different, but look at that. I just, I just love to be in here. So this little girl comes up to me all the time and she, she tries to like eat my pants. She tries to eat my shirt. One girl is not super friendly. And then our Jersey giant chickens are not super friendly and our ducks are not super friendly. I have no words, dude. I have no words. Why you gotta be on me? Uh, does she? She's looking out the window. Don't, is she pooping on me? Sophie, tell me the truth. Is she pooping on me? No. I love her though. I, I literally love her. She is just keeps getting more and more and more friendly. And I love the sound turkeys make. They're very like, they're very soft and cute. So the plan is to eat the turkeys eventually, but not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie's like, I don't like turkey. So I need a boy so that we can have eggs so that we can raise more turkey. So he's not going to get eaten. And, a girl. Boys don't lay eggs. and we need a girl and we only have two girls. So three. Well, we have three, but one's really tiny still. So chances are we're going to just keep the girls and keep their eggs and, and hatch them and raise more turkeys and eat them and keep these for our foundation stock because. We really like them and we don't have a ton of them, so. Oh, chicken makes that noise. <laughs> so that's the plan. That's the plan with the turkey. Sam doesn't want to keep them over winter, but I don't want to get rid of them. I just like, they're just so special and so fun to look at. So we have still been making changes to the chicken coop because it's still not exactly what we want. So a new addition is this roost. The chickens hate it. Do they? Too small? Why? Why do they hate? How do you know they hate it? Because none of them slept on it. None of them slept on it? I wonder if it's because there's really not a lot of room for them on the first one. We opened up this area. Do you guys remember all these big, huge, the, all this hay that was up here in this area? We didn't want to cut it because it's food for our animals. It's food for our goats. It's food for our horses. So even though we're trying to make this little area a playground, it got overrun with hay because it was too much for the goats that we have to, to take care of. Like they can't clean all this up. So we let the horses in. We're trying to make it to July for, or to August 1st before we open that last field for them. Penny be looking like she rolled. It's rainy and it's like wet out here. Anyway, the horses came in and they are cleaning it up and they're cleaning it up fast. But we definitely didn't want to cut it all down which like I am so tempted 
even in this section we're gonna let the horses in here to eat this down too because it's it's food for them and even though it's unsightly and messy and so close to the road it's food and i just don't want to like destroy their food goats are pretty much the same as horses you have to have the grass really high for them uh they shouldn't eat any lower than like i think four inches they shouldn't be out on pasture any lower than four inches because of the whole parasite thing so you want to do the same with horses that you do with goats you want to rotate their pasture and you want to keep the grass high for them but we don't have a lot of goats to eat all this down so you don't want that many how many do you want this amount. you like this amount yes. why they're not that much work like I know, when we had all those babies, it was a lot of work. So this happened yesterday. Sophie finally got a rose. She's so excited. Her bush is growing really well. Only one rose, but it's beautiful. First little haul from the garden. It's not a lot, but it's enough for us to have a dinner of peas and beans. So it's show week today. Uh, this weekend, Sophie's gonna be showing her very first time showing Lady, Lady's very first time ever in a, in a horse show. We are not prepared at all. Sophie's just been riding her around. She's been doing um basic stuff with her she's just been like introducing her to our farm she's been helping her build up muscles that she didn't have before um she's been trying to get her to relax a little and we're not prepared but we've talked about whether or not she should show um she doesn't care if she wins lady doesn't care if she wins so we're gonna just go it's gonna be like we're just gonna take it like a lesson and we're going to just experiment but the problem is Sophie's not even done a full course on Lady before. Like, she's gonna do walk trot poles, which is like younger beginner stuff. But that's okay. That's completely okay. It's Lady's first time at a show in a show situation. We're gonna see how she does. But I'm a bit nervous. She is gonna get to have an opportunity to uh, have a lesson on her and kind of get things going <laughs> before the show. But before she has a lesson on her, I want her to like practice because i don't even know if lady would like there was a time when lady didn't want to go over the poles she's listening to me she's like are you talking about me <laughs> anyway so that's what today is today is uh, gabby's going to set up some poles set up a course of poles for lady like i don't know how it's gonna go we're gonna see if lady will do it we're gonna see how it goes <laughs> before we decide for sure if we're gonna go in the show sylvie definitely wants to go in the show and lady could do more than walk trot poles but we don't want to push it. my baby is I just love you so much so uh, Penny doesn't want to go because she doesn't want to leave lady come on I've noticed that <laughs> come on Sophie steals this spot she steals this area where we groom our horses I always get stuck in the barn but every single night Sophie's like I'm gonna go do blah 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 do you want to come so then I come and then I sit here and I watch her we literally need to be able to tack up two horses in this area but today I'm gonna give Penny a brush because it's really wet out there and she is a mess I've been getting so much rain and it's so like damp and wet here Hi. Don't worry, she's fine. So wet and damp here that when I like walk outside now, the ground is mushy and gross. Kind of wonderful, some kind of magical woman. My love's for real. I need to show you right now. Take a look at me now. I can't explain what the life in me, what you did to me when the made last summer. Okay, I gave her a good brush and did her feet 
and sprayed them so she doesn't get any thrush because the ground is so moist out there. But look at her color. She's brown and white. Like she's totally brown and white in the summer. That's my favorite color. My favorite color, Penny. Come on, let's go. Come on. Do you guys have like somebody in your barn that hogs all the good stuff? Like the best grooming spot? <laughs> Yeah, it's so oh, creepy. Well, it's for everyone. That's my <laughs> She's like, do I really want to go back there? That felt really good. <laughs> Come on. Sophie's gonna try and get her ride on now. And I've done courses on her. You what? I've done courses on her. Oh yeah, at the very beginning. I should so show some footage. I'm trying to, I'm saving it for a video. Yeah, so she has done courses on her. So she's done even jumping on her. So and I have like all that footage on my phone. I just need to get it out and figure out what I'm gonna do. So I filmed this yesterday and then I got cut from the video because I it just got too long. So I wanted to film it again and explain this to you. What are we gonna do with this? And the, for the show. Well, is that her bridal path? No, that needs to grow back. Because they gave her too much of a bridal path? Yeah, they shaved their forelock in like this part. So it doesn't get in the way. So yesterday I filmed uh, about Sophie's saddle. So Sophie has a saddle that was made for her. Actually, it was made for her when she was a bit younger, but it was made with extra room for her to grow in. And we had the saddle fitter out. And he said that the saddle is perfect for Sophie. It still fits her really well. And it does. It doesn't fit Lady perfectly. But we have this saddle pad. We have this half pad that essentially can make any saddle that's too big fit appropriately. So it's a bit big on her shoulders. Like, Fan was such a huge guy, you guys. He was so huge. Like, this is a draft cross horse. And it... it <laughs> I love how she like turns her neck and is like, oh yes, brush there. <laughs> Anyways, so the saddle fitter, when he sold us this saddle pad, he was able to make Sophie's saddle that's too big for lady fit chance. Skinny little chance. So um, I know that I can get Sophie's saddle to fit lady using this saddle pad. And we tried it yesterday on their trail walk. It still wasn't quite uh, right. Basically, I take all these shims. These are like so fancy, these shims. I know, she loves. The way to lady's heart is to scratch her neck, man. Like that. Do stuff with her instead of just Do stuff with her, give her treats and scratch her neck. And listen to her when she tells you something. But anyways. Like to fix her fine ass. Yeah. So anyways, these are like, I don't know if I can even get it very good. They're like this, made from this innovative material that that is... There we go. It's like this. It's just, I don't know. I've not seen any other product made made like this. It's really super cool. Anyway, these are the shims that I have to work with. And I have to build up this saddle pad to make it appropriate for the saddle to fit. So I did it yesterday and it wasn't enough shimming in the right spot. So I have to redo it again today. The problem is, is that Lady doesn't love this CWD half pad. Not yet anyways. And I don't know if it's because I don't have it right yet or if she just doesn't like it, I don't know. Uh, she loves a Gabby saddle, she loves it. Like, that's her saddle. We had somebody come and assess that saddle as well, and basically we have another half pad that adjusts for Sophie's weight in that saddle, so she doesn't fit it perfectly yet, or she doesn't fit it perfectly, um, but it fits Lady perfectly, like Lady loves it. But because it doesn't fit Sophie perfectly, we have another half pad that we use that helps to distribute her weight and keep it from going in areas that would make it 
painful for lady. So even though it's not perfect for Sophie, um, and we're not buying another saddle, $10,000 saddle for Sophie yet, until we determine if we're keeping lady. Until we get like all that figured out, till after her lease is finished and we figure that all out, then um, she'll get a saddle built for both of them, which will be really exciting because getting a, a custom saddle is like the best thing on earth. How does so Gabby's saddle feel to you? No. Yeah, it doesn't hurt her. It doesn't, it doesn't feel uncomfortable to her at all. This is our flattest area. So Gabby's gonna set up a bunch of pole. Every time Posey hears me, she comes flying. But look at them play. Still playing. <laughs> you see Posey do a flip. Oh, no. <laughs> Ellie's ro scratching her back. Oh, Posey's scratching against the ladder. So uh, this is just gonna be our pre-lesson ride. Ellie jumped in the pool, in the piggy pool. Here comes my piggy. Every time we have a ride here, no matter who's here, Posey always comes. She always comes to hang out. Oh, she's chewing my pants. The re weeds are tall. Sam, when you're editing this, you need to come out here and bull rush or what's it called? What are you doing? <laughs> She's just using my body to scratch herself. Um, Sam, you need to get rid of the weeds. Anyway, Gabby's setting up everything. It's gonna be a pole course. Are you at a ride like you're at the show? And the worst thing that Sophie does, or maybe not the worst, but one of the big things that Sophie does, Hunters is all about how you look. And, oh, the bugs are bad. Sophie always slouches. Yeah, I love her being on a mission. I'm excited. Do you care how you do at the show? No. She's just going to show. She wants to be with her friends. She wants to hang out. Her friends are all showing. Well, some of her friends are showing. Her show on her. Sophie might go to another show at her friend's barn that her friend is gonna show at. So we might do that too this summer. And she wants to show at this rated show that's super fun. But this is the first one, you guys. We don't wanna get ahead of herself. This is the first show to see how it goes. I'm so sorry about the weeds. It's annoying. Good job, Gabby. Jump it, Posey, jump it. <laughs> this is craziness. She's nicely dressed. Yeah. Gabby's gonna tell her, Gabby. Do you need a whip? Stop. A thumbs up. <laughs> Did you hear that? She said, "Put your thumbs up, or I'm gonna give you a whip to hold on to, a crop." <laughs> Gabby looks like she's shooting her. <laughs> All right, so this is it. This is not it. So basically, this is this is hard for her. Like if she can master this, then she'll be fine at the show. Because over here in just a second, you're gonna see that she's gonna go up a hill and then Lady just throws her right back in the saddle. Breathe so, in half halt with your body and it hands forward as soon as you go over the pole. Like, as soon as you go over the pole, I want you to just put your hands forward. Like throw them forward. Don't change anything but your hands. That Lady's got it. There you go. I mean, the horse never rode in the show in her life, but she Next never. Next time, change your rising after you complete the poles, not in the middle. Mm -hmm. Looking good tonight I wanna kiss you 
Definitely a work in progress. Isn't it crazy though that this horse can step away from a job that she's done her whole life and then be amazing? This is what I'm laughing at. If anybody has any doubts if it's Posey ripping up the ground, well, that should answer it for you. <laughs> Hi, babe. Man, I love this little piggy. This little piggy. Oh. The reason she lays on the tarp is because bugs bite her if she has her belly on the bare ground but also she has a blanket up here we have a blanket down at the other barn and down at, up at this barn but she likes to lay in the shade and i can't put her blanket outside it'll get soaked so she lays on a tarp she's so cute though she's so darn cute and you too you're just so darn cute don't you know that you're beautiful